So you're probably deciding whether you want to go down a DevOps or a cloud engineering route. You can't tell the difference, why the job ads are all the same, who pays more and what is actually going to be more challenging. Now in this video, I'm going to cover all four of those topics. If you don't know who I am, I'm Tech Toby, currently working as a cloud consultant for a FTSE 250. I have experience in both DevOps and cloud engineering, and my role as a consultant actually covers both of the job titles. So you're definitely in the right place to understand the main differences and what is going to be best for you. And to the best of my knowledge, I hope by the end of this video, you're going to have a much better clear understanding of what role you should pursue. So let's jump straight into it. Now, what actually is the difference between a DevOps engineer and a cloud engineer? So if we take a look at DevOps first, DevOps is actually a framework. It's not actually a job. It was initially created to make the development process between developers and operations engineers to be able to streamline that process of delivering software in a more automated fashion. There is always a bit of friction between devs and ops. So some people thought let's create a new framework and we'll work together to improve the collaboration process between each team to deliver software better. So the main premise of a DevOps engineer is that they are automating the delivery of software. And one of the key differences also between both of the roles is that a DevOps engineer can actually work on-prem. They don't have to be in the cloud, whereas a cloud engineer, you are 100% cloud-based. It's kind of in the job title. Now, what is a cloud engineer? Now, on-prem, we have some people called infrastructure engineers. Some people may call them sysadmins or system engineers. And their primary job was to spin up architecture to host virtual machines, firewalls, you know, the entire network, identity. And as technology has advanced in the cloud space, the role has morphed into this kind of on-prem god who's now working in the cloud. So imagine all the skills you had on-prem times that by 10 because you're not doing many things manually anymore, you're doing all of it with code. Very similar to how a DevOps engineer would operate also. So the best way to look at this is a DevOps engineer will be working on product where a cloud engineer will be working more on enterprise domains. Now if you want to know the difference, think of Facebook as a product. There will be a bunch of devs and they may have DevOps engineers automating the delivery of those CI/CD pipelines to deliver Facebook to their end users. Now, when I say enterprise for cloud engineers, think of an office that has 15,000 staff. Those 15,000 staff need something to work on. So the cloud engineers will build and host the architecture for those staff and continuously support it. And the cloud engineering role becomes kind of more varied. There's many different cloud practices that you can work on. You could work on end user computing, you can also work on delivering architecture for software and then a DevOps team handles the process of delivering the application. It all kind of depends on the company that you're working for. And the fascinating thing about both of these jobs is that most people will give you a different answer for what that role is meant for. And the reason for that is because not every company does things the same. Not every company has the same organizational structure. Now, the next point we're going to focus on is why are the job adverts the same? Why are they listing 90% of the same technologies across both job roles? Now, if you take a look at one of these job ads, what are you going to see? You're probably going to see Linux administration, Windows administration, some familiarity with AWS, Azure, GCP. You're going to see infrastructure as code languages like Terraform or maybe Bicep or CloudFormation. On top of that, you'll probably see some form of configuration management like Ansible. You may see networking. You may see containers. It could be Docker. It could be Kubernetes. And the reason why the job ads are the same and the technology stacks appear the same is because both jobs actually use both technologies. They just use them in different ways. So for example, if a DevOps engineer was going to use Terraform to deploy some architecture to the cloud, they may primarily be deploying architecture that is just hosting a container. They still have to build that network for it. They still have to secure it. It's just hosting a product. Whereas a cloud engineer, now this is a project I've worked on in the past with Terraform, I would build an entire network. It may have Windows and Linux virtual machines. This is hosting a product or it's hosting an environment where a team can work in to build out a product. It may just be there's 500 users that need to use these specific virtual machines and the client has decided that's how they want to do it. But what does a DevOps engineer use pipelines for? What, what does a cloud engineer use pipelines for? Well, the beauty of technology and how it's become so advanced is that automation is at the forefront of everything now in every job. So a DevOps engineer would use a pipeline to automate the delivery of that software. So every software is going to have its dependencies, right? And those dependencies may need to be installed a certain way. It may be running a Python script, a bash script. You may need to put files in these certain different directories. You may have to do this in a sequential order. There could be multiple stages on this pipeline. And it's exactly the same with the cloud engineer. For example, at all of Terraform, I can create a Terraform pipeline. Let's say I'm working on something that is maybe Azure Virtual Desktop. 
I can create a gold image with Packer and I can put that into a pipeline. So as you can kind of see, it starts to paint the picture that all of these technologies have a, are fundamental to both jobs. It's just that the role of the person is slightly different. And the beauty of it is that if you're a DevOps engineer, you could quite easily become a cloud engineer. And if you're a cloud engineer, you could quite easily become a DevOps engineer. Now, what is actually more challenging? Now, personally, if you ask me as someone who has done both roles, I don't think either is more challenging than the other. I think the DevOps engineer has that more level of complexity where they're working on stuff like Kubernetes and, and Docker far more often than a cloud engineer. A Kubernetes can, can be a pain in the ass for anyone who's ever actually used it. And you know, sometimes for companies, that's the default. They just want to throw everything onto Kubernetes. And sometimes you don't really need to. You could use you could use serverless, you could just use Docker. And that almost creates headaches for DevOps engineers because sometimes they're working on products that they don't really need to. And they're, they're a pain to manage, especially at scale. I think the problem with cloud engineering is that there are so many different parts of engineering the cloud engineer has to do. They have to know networking, they have to know storage, they have to know virtualization, they have to know identity and access, they have to know security, they have to know monitoring. And not only do they have to know all of that, they have to know all of the automation tools like Python, Bash, PowerShell, Terraform, um, YAML for Ansible, exactly the same as a DevOps engineer. So personally, I don't actually think either is more challenging than the other. I think they bring their own level of difficulty. But yeah, I would say they're fairly balanced on what is more difficult. I think the level of difficulty for a job comes down to the engineer. If you're a very good engineer, you may not find your job as challenging as someone else. Or maybe you're working for a company that has terrible practices, they have terrible documentation that's going to become challenging. Perhaps you're working on a project with non-technical management, that can also be challenging. So it kind of depends more so on the company and the people you're working with. If you have a great team, probably not going to be that difficult if you have a great team. Now, who actually pays more? Is it the DevOps engineer or is it the cloud engineer? Now, I'm based in the UK, right? So technology salaries in the UK, they're not phenomenal by any means. You can still certainly hit good levels, but outside of London, you're probably going to cap out at maybe around about 100k. If you live in London, you can go over that. And also in the UK, we have this um, culture around what industry pays better. So a DevOps engineer working for, let's say, a marketing company or a charity will earn far less than the person working for a hedge fund or a, a bank. Overall, engineering in the UK pretty much pays the same for anyone, to be honest. Data engineer, DevOps, cloud, software engineer. You're working for something like Fang or a hedge fund. Salaries are going to be fairly similar across the board. Like you're going to start off like the junior levels, maybe 30 to 40K. If you get to like a senior, you probably get up to like 80 to 100. And some companies actually have levels above senior. They'll have principal and then you go into architect. And once you hit those architect levels, you know, the sky is kind of the limit. You're probably on about 110, 120K plus bonuses, etc. So when it comes down to what one should you pursue, what one's going to be more interesting, what pays more, what's the difference? And it depends on you as a person. Do you fancy the idea of working on a product? Or do you fancy the idea of working on an enterprise domain? Now, personally, I come from an enterprise background. I worked before as an infrastructure engineer. I've worked in a desktop engineering team, even on like service desk back in the days. That kind of migration to cloud engineer was kind of like natural sort of organic progression for me. One of the big differences was that I did end up working for a company on AWS. And what I find is DevOps engineers who are working on AWS will always be doing more product work, whereas a DevOps engineer working on Azure. Not that it's not as common, it's that more people host products on AWS just because it's a little bit easier. And so many companies started using AWS for software development, whereas Azure has that natural instinct for a large enterprise. You know, if you've got 10,000 users, those 10,000 people are going to be using Windows products, they're going to be using Microsoft products. And those on prem engineers you got working for you who you said, look, we've got these cloud positions coming up soon, we're going to be doing some migrations. Are you going to work on it? You're just naturally going to go and use Azure. So yeah, to summarize, I think it kind of comes down to you as a person, what you find most interesting and what is going to get you the most satisfaction. Now, if you are based in the US or you're based anywhere else in the world, do comment below. Let me know what the pay difference is in, in the countries that you live in, because that will help give the audience a better understanding globally as well. And as always, thank you all very much for watching.